Hey guys, welcome back to Buddy RC. My name is Clay, and today we are going to be talking about the 608 PD from ISDT. So this charger is really neat because uh, I actually keep it in my car. Um, it, it's pretty awesome. You can plug it in just about anywhere. Um, so it actually runs off of a USB-C. Now there's a caveat to that. You can't just plug it into your regular USB-C that only puts like five amps out um, or however many amps a regular like phone charger puts out. Um, you will have to use a power supply style. Uh, so like a big brick. Um, I don't, I haven't really tested anything else. I've just charged it stuff with this. This is the 65 watt one from Gen Zace. Um, it allows this charger to charge uh, this 4S5000, or I'm sorry, 5100 um, at three amps, uh, which with a charger that costs less than the power supply, it's kind of insane. So a power supply normally will be about 80 bucks, you know, depending on which one you get, um, a nice power supply. Um, and then, <laughs> You know, the charger itself is relatively cheap, but if you want to just plug into the wall, charge a little bit less, you know, might charge stuff a little slower, but it will get the job done. You can get this right here. I want to say it's less than 20 bucks. Um, plug it right in, USB-C on this end, and it will charge 65 watts max out of this little guy. Um, so I'll show you that here in just a little bit, but I'm going to go to the above view actually first, and we're going to show you guys the menu system in this. It's fairly similar to the ISDT chargers. Um, it's a three button system instead of a roller where you have a select up and a down. Uh, this is just three buttons in general. Um, I don't think this thing will save any presets, which again, for the price point, I don't think that really matters. Um, other than that, let's go to the above view and take a look. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in just a, you know, ZMO battery, which is a 5,000, I'm sorry, 5,100 milliamp uh, four cell. So we'll go ahead and just plug this directly into the back, which is where you plug in your power supply. Now the really cool part is the first thing it asks is low voltage, uh, like the limit um, of what you want it to go down to. So if you have a three cell, um, I normally shut it off about three, six, three, seven per cell. Um, this makes it nice to where it won't kill your battery while you're charging other batteries. So I have my little M1 battery right here. This is a really neat feature of this charger. So we'll go up here. It realizes it's not a four cell, which is really nice. So what you do to change that is we're gonna hold this down until it starts flashing. So now you just select this by quick pressing this. So you go up to your cell count and you just go down to a 2S. Now you hold it again to confirm and then short press and it's charging. We're good to go. So now we're gonna charge this 5100 milliamp pack. I'm gonna show you guys, it actually does limit its uh, output because it's only running off of 60 watts. Um, so yeah, you press your, you know, over to, oh, I passed it. So you press over to that, you hold this button down and we're gonna go to 5100 or 5.1 amps. And it's coming. Now you press and hold yet again. And now you're out of that one quick press and now it's charging. Now you'll see the wattage, uh, it goes up to about 60 and then that's about all it can do. Um, again, off of USB-C, um, off of this USB-C. So you can get a nicer one possibly and then you guys can charge off of that. Uh, but as this one sits for sub 20 bucks, it's insane that it works as well as it does. Um, so right now we're at 3.2 amps out um, but that is about the max that this little charger can do off of a wall USB type adapter. So I'm gonna show you now actually uh, the different modes that it has. So we're gonna unplug it, it's gonna yell at me. And it sees that we took that off. So this charger, again, not only will it do LiPos, but it will do just about anything out there. So we've got nickel metal, we've got PB batteries, which is like your lead acid batteries, um, your lipos, you know, your lithium high voltage, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, you can charge up to 4.35 volts per cell. Um, I believe on this, you can do high voltage as well by changing this, yeah. So you could charge max on the lipo setting at 4.25. Um, but I would recommend just keeping it at 420 unless it's a high voltage pack. Um, so if it's a high voltage pack, 
and it's when you go to the next one, which is your lithium high voltage. Um, so this right here, it's again, the same as the other ISDT chargers, three button system. The only, uh, the only thing it doesn't do is it will not save, um, which again, for how cheap this charger is, I don't think that really matters personally. Um, being able to plug it into the, you know, a wall adapter you can get for very cheap or plugging it directly into a battery at the field or plugging it into a power supply. I think this little charger rocks. Um, and I think you guys will really enjoy this charger. If you buy a plane that doesn't come with a charger and you you know, this is a great first charger for that kind of uh, deal. So yeah, uh, this right here would be a very good beginner charger. You know, you could buy the brick and then you could buy the charger itself for relatively cheap. Um, and you don't need an external power supply or anything like that. And if you go to the field and you have a large LiPo, charge it up with this before you go. And then while you're at the field, you can just plug it right in and boom, you have a charge or you have a charger that will charge right off of this, um, you know, four cell or up. I recommend a pretty high uh, milliamp uh, battery if you're gonna do that. I actually use a 6S 5000. Um, I just keep it in my pack. It's actually one of my puffed packs from my helicopters. So I just put that in there and charge right off of this little guy. So if you guys have any questions about the 608 PD, give me a holler in the comments down below. Um, and of course, like and subscribe and definitely share this around. I will see you guys later.